Hello and welcome back. I'm Melinda Bigley and I'm a baby lock educator. And today I wanted to show you something pretty fun on the Solaris. Um, lots of machines do this. So uh, just because I'm showing this to you on the Solaris doesn't mean that your machine doesn't have this feature. But I, um, I obviously I can't mention every single machine out there, nor do I know exactly how yours works. But if it does have the feature, you can always, um, and you're not sure, you can always look it up in your manual. Um, and it may be a button on your machine that you didn't know what it did. So if you didn't know this, it's, it's a whole lot of fun and it kind of opens up a whole new world. What I'm talking about is the applique button on, um, and again, this is on the Solaris 2, Baby Lock Solaris 2. Uh, it's as simple as pushing a little button and all of a sudden you've created an applique for yourself. So um, let me show you how to do that. If you get seasick, cover your eyes. I'll cover them for you. How's that? And I'm going to position you so that you can hopefully see. Okay, so what I've done is I have called up this adorable little hummingbird. And I'm just checking to make sure you guys can see. Because I know it's frustrating when you have these videos and you can't see. I've been guilty of covering the screen with my finger or my hand and I'm trying not to do that so I'm using a mouse. Okay, so um, as you can see I went, I just hit the little button that was right here which is set which means I am um, now in the editing portion of my embroidery design. And right down here, so you've got all these these little buttons and if they're grayed out that means that this doesn't apply to what we're doing. So you can resize, you can move. In other words, you know, I can take this and put the bird anywhere I want. I can put them up there, put them over here, whatever. And then this little button here just recenters. Um, I can rotate 90 degrees, 10 degrees, whatever. And I can also reset. I can mirror image. So I can just flip the little guy around if I want to have him facing the other way. Doesn't really matter. And I can create a couple of him. Now there's a couple. But we're going to undo what we've done and just go back to the beginning. Okay, so what we're gonna hit is this wonderful little button right here and it looks like a badge with a crown in the center of it. And that takes us to this screen. And what you'll notice immediately is we've got the satin stitch circumnavigating our little hummingbird. Right here, you can affect the distance that that line is from your bird. So I can increase, I can decrease. And what that does, and it allows me to um, pull that line away from the bird and give them give more space in between the bird and the applique satin stitch which means you'll be able to see your fabric within that area right there so we'll just leave it like that just so that you can see now i'm happy with that in fact i don't like that color satin stitch so i'm going to go over to my color editing and I'm gonna scroll down to where it shows his satin stitch. And this is just my anal retentiveness because I don't wanna look at a peach satin stitch on that cute little guy. So now we're gonna hit embroidery and it is literally that simple. You've created yourself a little applique and you can cut that out and make it into a patch. You can do all sorts of really fun things. And I'll show you, we'll just, head up to this point right here um, by using my little um, forward backward buttons I can progress into further stitches and I use this feature all the time when I'm doing things um, creating things if I want to bypass something that I'm stitching out or um, add something in or my stitches if uh, my bobbin came out and I have to you know rewind I uh, there are just a million different reasons so I'm backing up through this but what you can see is 
we've even got our tack down and um, and then it heads into your which is your placement and then you've got your tack down and then you got your satin stitch so it is exactly like as if someone had digitized a an applique for you so you've got a myriad of different things you can use and this is a this is an adorable design that's actually on the Solaris but again you can use anything I think most of us tend to import our designs obviously through our USB um, or via the computer direct or you know now Solaris 2 or if you've got the Solaris and you have this the first and second upgrade you can actually do a direct import from your cell phone um, you can actually do some it's not every design you can't just import um, everything that there is to offer but it does a really good job of that um, so that is that and I think it's just a whole lot of fun to be able to play with that if you haven't done it before I highly suggest you go in and play and really when you're learning your machine and I'm talking to people who are more um, on the, that are on the newer side of the Solaris I'm going to flip you back around because that was in and of itself the lesson I wanted to show you. And it takes me a minute because there are wires everywhere and this lovely tripod is so easy to work with. Which I'm being sarcastic. Probably shouldn't be, but it's it can be interesting to work with wires and um, and the internet and all that when you're trying to teach. So that is, um, that's that. That is the, the neat little applique button that we have on our machine. And if you don't have the Solaris 2, like I said, if you've got um, the Altair, uh, a virtually, uh, uh, you know, I, I know the Alissimo, the um, Destiny, Destiny 2, they all have that applique feature on it. And then um, as far as other brands of machines, I'm sure that they also have it. I don't have the experience on um, on many of the others, but I, I'm going to skip mentioning those. So if you haven't tried that, please do so. And what I was going to say actually is the best way to learn your machine is just by taking time to go in there and play with what you see on your screen. You can just click buttons and if you don't know what they do, watch on your screen and generally it'll kind of show you. If you're um, using a stitch on the on this machine, you can actually, and I've done a, a video on this before, you can click on the stitch and then hit a button and it'll show you exactly what that stitch is for. Um, and then there are other ways to do that on this. There's a little, there's a little button that looks like a film strip. And that shows not only um, directions, but it also shows quick videos on certain things. If you if you um, are playing around with your with your video where with your machine, and you're trying to learn different features, I would highly suggest having your manual with you. I'm a huge manual lover. I, I tend to pour over them, learn what my machine can do, and then um, kind of twist things up and, and and have fun with it from there. Um, always with thread, different threads. That's my favorite thing is picking colors and doing different things with designs. That way I rarely ever use what's dictated um, on the machine or in any design for that matter. I love to create a color scheme that I like. And that's the fun, that one of the million, of, of uh, the millions of fun things that we have going for us in our sewing rooms is that we can create what makes us happy and there are no rules and there's no such thing as wrong or right it's just what makes you uh, enjoy that particular design so give it a shot and like I said pull out your manual I know the Solaris doesn't come with a manual anymore but you can have that printed out I'm, I'm old school with having a manual in my hands and I tend to um, mark them up that I learned I think from being a lit major I just write all over my books and and write notes to myself and um, if you're that way great if you don't like to mark up your your manuals then don't write in them it's up to you so have a wonderful day that was a quick lesson on just making an applique and if you didn't know that your machine had that it's it's pretty fun so you can give that a shot 
Have a wonderful, wonderful day. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so and give me a thumbs up and then write me a message if you, if you have the time and introduce yourself and I'll remember you. I, I really like connecting with you. If you haven't uh, gone on to Facebook, I just recently started started on Facebook. I had never had an account before, but I started a Facebook group which is called So Blessed Quilting and Embroidery. And I'm probably going to add, not probably, I will add surging to that once I'm more confident. I just started that venture, but it's just wonderful. I am absolutely passionate about using the decorative threads and all that that the serger can do. And I thought that it was just for garment sewing, but it is so much more than that. The ability to embellish your quilts and finish the edges on certain things, make pin tucks, make, it's just endless what we can create. Um, and I've got the Triumph, the Baby Lock Triumph, and I am absolutely in love with that machine. It's a lot of fun. Um, and I've done a couple of videos, but I will make more in the future with that as I get better educated as far as knowing what I'm doing before I pass it on to you. So thank you again for watching. Have a wonderful day and I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.